addicted to our screens, that's addicted to things of this age that satisfy the lusts of our flesh. God, I bring before you a whole generation that's lost in the ways of distractions and things that are vying for our attention and longing for our affection. Father, I set before you this generation and I'm asking, oh Lord, that you would not pass us by. Son of David, we beg you for mercy. Don't pass this generation by, Lord. God, I'm asking for a wave of awakening to strike me. God, strike this generation and this nation with a burden to get our eyes off of our own flesh, our own insecurities, our own lack of confidence, our own little pleasures that we long for and, and cling to with all of our might. God, I ask that you would expose the barrenness of a life lived apart from you. I ask you, God, that you would expose the vanity of life apart from the knowledge of God and knowing you rightly. Lord, I ask you in Jesus' name, open up the eyes of our heart. We want to see you, Jesus. Lord, we want a vision for you that, that, that Paul had that wrecked his whole life. We want to see the excellencies of him who called us that, that Peter laid hold of. Oh God, we want the unfathomable riches of knowing you. We want the surpassing value of touching you. Oh God, would you do this in this hour? We need you, Holy Spirit. We don't have it in and of ourselves to long for the living God. By nature, we're self-indulgent and love our own appetites. Oh God, deliver us. Deliver a whole generation from the love of our own appetites, God. I ask you, Lord, on behalf of the church and this nation, deliver us from our addiction to our screens and our technologies and our pornographies. Oh God, would you deliver us in this hour to set our eyes on things above, to actually behold beauty for what our heart was made for. Oh Father, open up our eyes, open up our understanding and give revelation to your church in this hour regarding your son in Jesus' name. Church in this nation. Deliver us from ourselves. Touch our hearts again. Strike our hearts again. Set our eyes upon Jesus. Cultivate us. We look to you tonight, Lord.
day coming to all of humanity. Isaiah chapter 2. When you will bring to nothing all of the gods and all of the idols that we've put our trust in, that we've allowed to fascinate us, all the idols that we've allowed to move us. God, I ask you in this hour that you would lay upon your church in this nation the burden of Isaiah chapter 2. When the loftiness of man will be brought low, the arrogance of humanity will be humbled. All the other gods will be exposed as images carved by men for the sake of their own pleasures. And you alone will be exalted in that day. Father, I ask you that you would prepare us even now for that day that's coming more certain than any of us waking up tomorrow. There's a day that's coming to this nation when you will bring to nothing every God that exalts itself against you, every idol that exposes. God, I ask that you would bring it to nothing and that you would prepare us even now, Lord. We just confess, Jesus, that we are not ready for that day. We still love our sin and we love our idols. God, I ask that you would help us. In sobriety, we ask you for the conviction of the Holy Spirit to actually lay aside our lesser lovers and lay aside our lesser pleasures and pursue you with our whole hearts. Father, we want nothing less than the fullness of pleasure found in you. Lord, we want access to that river of delight that flows from your throne. We want the fullness of pleasures found in your right hand that David experienced and wrote about. Oh, Father, would you open that up to us as we forsake our idols and our lovers. God, I ask that you would give grace. We cannot do it in and of ourselves. We need help in this, Holy Spirit. Help us. Jesus, you said the Holy Spirit would come and convict us of sin, righteousness, and judgment. Father, I ask you on behalf of the church and this nation for a great conviction to lay hold of us, a great sobriety to grip us, a great mourning to lay hold of us, related to who we are in the fullness of what you've called us to, related to who you are in the splendor and the beauty of your majesty. Oh, Father, we're so removed from holiness. We don't even know what transcendence means. We don't know what true beauty looks like. Oh God, would you fascinate us? Fascinate us, Lord, and help us in this journey. In Jesus' name. us, Lord. Help us, oh God. We need you. Our flesh is Help very us, weak, Holy Lord. Spirit, you know more than we do. Our flesh is weak. By your grace, help us, God. You know more than we do. Our apathetic we hearts. Help us, you. Lord. You alone are holy. Grip us, Lord. You alone are God. Grip us, Lord. Show us what true beauty is. You alone will be exalted in the day. Give us the knowledge of the Holy One. Come, Lord. Turn our eyes for unworthiness. Give us grace we for repentance. What you did to Nineveh in the days of Jonah. A wave of repentance overcame a whole nation. Oh God, we look to you tonight. Grip us with repentance, Lord. We turn to you tonight in Jesus' name. 